How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today I'm gonna be showing you how to get, you know, more cinematic saturation. In other words, richer saturation. And a better way to achieve this than probably the way you're used to, which is in the primaries, just, you know, pumping up the saturation at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you just four different methods that are better than that. All right, so this is my shot. I chose it because I liked it, all right? I did two CST nodes and I have my primaries, my white balance, and then my contrast and saturation right here. All right, so obviously your typical way would be down here and it boosts the saturation. Obviously, it's the easiest way, but it looks a little bright and it's a little digital looking. So another way, method number one is you can go over here to HDR wheels and come here to global and right here where it says saturation, this is where you want to start to increase saturation. It increases saturation more technically sound and it's less artificial as opposed to the saturation in the primers. Okay, so let's do method number two. So method number two is, let's see, we're going to come back here to primaries. We're gonna right click on our node and go to color space and click here where it says HSV. All right, and right click it again go to channels and disable channel one and do it again right click and disable channel three and the reason i did that is because in this specific node we we want to go ahead and leave the rgb color space and go into the hsv color space which stands for our hue saturation and value uh, obviously we shut off channel one which is our hue and shut off channel three which is our value so all that will be affecting is uh, channel two. And the way you can do that is with the gain and gamma. It's just stay off of the offset and lift. You can go ahead and increase your gain and your gamma. And then what's cool is right here in the gamma, you can increase it and it won't push the saturations that are already blown out or too high. So it'll just do the kind of lower mid saturation levels to kind of balance out your overall saturation levels which is cool. And you can see when I increase the gain, how nice and rich it's looking. Let's reset that node grade. All right, so the final method, which is, obviously these aren't all the methods by the way ever. These are just three that I wanted to show you. So the final method, I hope you're still with me. If you're not, sorry, I guess you're not seeing this part, uh, is gonna be your new color slice tool. Now we know that you can go ahead and affect individual colors here. But at the top here, uh, you will be having your global adjustments. Obviously you can increase the saturation here. So you would go ahead and do that to your liking. And then you would go ahead and come to density and increase that as well. Pull back the saturation a little bit. And you have just increased the saturation without making the image too bright and making the, uh, the colors very dense and rich which i think is also a good way uh there's probably a lot of different ways you can manipulate everything up here besides just saturation and density you have density depth saturation balance saturation depth which i went over in this video here at the top now the quickest obviously is going to be to go to your hdr wheels and just increase the saturation there call it a day what i typically do the most is the hdr wheels it's kind of quick easy but those two other ways are also very good options. And then to very easily mess with your density, you can go into the color slice tool. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, these are just some quick tips. Go ahead and practice them and comment what you think down below. With that being said, come back. I'll see you in the next one.